What you do is take a, take a rag, oh, Jess. Yeah, right there. Take a rag and uh, let's just dabble and clean this up and then uh, screw these back down. Clean this deal up and we're going to put a new O-ring on it and then I'll put new uh, grease on it and we'll set it back on. guys, today's video is sponsored by Purity Debt Solutions. PDS Debt has customized options for anyone struggling with personal loans, medical bills, collection of debt, or credit cards. Many of you guys probably don't believe me, and many of you do know out there that I have went in debt keeping my race program alive. Um, you know, I, I buy motors, I buy cars, I gotta keep up with parts. There's plenty of times that I have went into debt and I wish I had PDS debt at the time to be able to help me out. Sometimes you just gotta send it and make your dream happen. But with that dream can be absolute debt and it could be unbearable at times. There was times where I couldn't sleep for nights, days, and I just stressed about being in debt. If you're in a position where you're in debt, trust me, PDS is the company for you. Reach out to them now and let them help you get debt free. And it literally only takes 30 seconds to get a free debt analysis. 
there is a way out. Help is available, and that is PDS Debt. PDS Debt strives to understand your specific scenario. It also helps you find alternative ways to be able to get out of debt. Stop waiting, guys, and start saving. Visit pdsdebt.com slash Swanstrom to get a free analyst. It only takes 30 seconds, guys. Let PDS Debt help you. That's pdsdebt.com slash Swanstrom. You can see it in the link in the description down below. Click on them, let them help you, and let's all be debt free. Thanks to PDS Debt for sponsoring today's video. Let's get back into the live action. All right, give me that Allen back again. Hey, Jess, that rear wheel is not moving. It's not. It's not. It's wobbly. Is it a tire or the wheel? It's the wheel. It ain't the hub. So the wheel's bent? Or that or... I, just, oh, I think it's the feed lock that gives you the... the what's it called? As he said, because he tightened the hubs at the house. That's where it's leaking from, is on the bolts. Hey, he said he'd be back. He'll be back for race. Yeah, yeah, Buckner said he'd be back for the race. He said he wanted to go over to the sprint car track and do some sprint car racing. Yeah, he does everything. Oh, man, I mean, that, that dude, there's nothing that guy can't do. I mean, he everything. Ever, he made it past this, right? Yeah, yeah, like I said, he can do everything. No, I think the pieces on the back side are broke. And it's allowing them to push roll out. Well, it's leaking, uh, but so it, because they're, uh, broke. They're, they're broke, it doesn't. It's not all right, so go ahead, board. go ahead and clean it's that broke. all up. You know, let's put this on there, and then I'll order not. And all that That's vibration. I, it, it's not counter sinking in there no more. So where I'm tightening the bolts, but again, the bolts should go in there, and the shit shouldn't come past the bolt. So I'm probably just gonna put a little silicone on the bolts, and it won't allow it to come out. So it keeps leaking all the oil out. Pick that over at the brake cleaner or clean it off. Okay, see that top right. there. Give me uh, those bolts. You want to put a dab of silicone on them, you said? Or? Uh, I, I don't think I'll try. I'll try without it. That's, I think that'll be it. Give me Loctite, though. If you're, not, if you're not taking this on and off, I would take silicone and just put around each one of these. Call, the call it's not about taking it on and off, it breaks off. It's the well, I'm, just, I'm just saying, yeah, but then also the silicone will keep it from leaking. Okay. I'd just silicone and call it that. What I'm saying, it's not that, they, they break, it's just the vibration. That's what they do. That's why I said I'm going to have Jason, just like these steels break, because they're just bolted in there, I'm going to have Jason just make me one out of tubing. Just make all, all it is is a belt bar. Just like he made this, that deal, just make the cage that goes in here and sits. And then you never have to worry about it again. It would have to break this. It would never break the tubing. You spray it out with brake cleaner? Loctite? Oh. Uh, okay. One thing to note is drivers that finish very high up in the rankings, or should I say high up in the regular season, they're getting a little extra help in the playoffs by more points. All right, and I'll go over that when I introduce those drivers. For the fifth spot, and this goes back to what I talked about, the drivers getting a little extra help depending on how they finish the regular season. The fifth spot gets 10 points starting off in this playoff championship run. And that is Mr. Justin Swanson.
no reason. What's on it, guys? We are here. No prep elite. First race. One out of four. You already know the deal. We're gonna go out there. We're gonna make our first shakedown. Uh, we're gonna, we get a total of four passes tonight. We don't have to make four passes, but we're allowed to make up to four hits. So I think we're gonna just try to make a hit in each lane. As long as everything goes good, then we'll park the car and we'll get ready for tomorrow. We are going up against Bobby Ducati tomorrow. We are gonna be running in the heat of the day. So getting these next two passes is gonna be crucial for us. So we're about to get the car ready. We're gonna go on the staging lanes. We're gonna get behind everybody. We're gonna go out there and try to make a pass and see what we can do. Great. Got Justin Swanstrom this first round. I'm about to drag his ass. He's about to see the back of that car. No big deal. <laughs> Good luck, brother. Be safe. Father, just uh, pray for Justin. You made this pass be a, saf, uh, a fast pass and a safe pass. And uh, put your hand on the wheel right next to his and bring him back to his safety. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Back and bring him back to us safely, and uh, just a great pass. Amen. Thank you.
very good lick. A to B, that's what we like right there. Didn't hit that tr uh, transition at the end of the track either. It upset the car, so it looked good. Go! Hell of a second pass. I don't know if we're making any more of it. That's the last one. It's good. Well, we made a good rip. I think that's going to be it for us for tonight. Uh, we'll get ready for tomorrow. We got first round going up against uh, Bobby Ducati. Uh, so how the basically, you know, deal is we're running off a ladder. So I'm number five, so I get to run number 12. Um, we're going to do a coin flip tomorrow for lane choice. And we're also going to be picking a chip on who, what pair number you go out. There's eight pairs tomorrow, there's 16 cars. So you're going to be able to figure out who's going to go out first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, or eighth uh, tomorrow. So we'll see how that goes. But she ran good. Everything looked good. We'll look over the data later on tonight. And then we're going to go out there and just get ready for tomorrow. Wish us luck. And let's see if we can go get this thing. All right. Day two of the morning. Oh, get the car fired up. Top up the transmission fluid.
to uh first round today boys it's hot out it's 94 degrees outside we uh are going up against bobby ducati where there's six pair out we do get lane choice so we're gonna go ahead get up there let dad go walk the lanes make sure everything's good he's gonna let me know what lane we're gonna go down and we're gonna see if we get this first round win if we get past this round the next round and the rounds moving forward to the end of the race will go off of a chip draw only this first round is off of this setting bracket from no prep kings points that we accumulated throughout the year so i'm ready for it i think the car is ready i think uh we have a, a good car that could possibly not only win this round but win the whole race but we got to get past this round first so we're gonna go out there we're gonna get the car set it up and let's see if we can pull this win off guys Down there at the end, they're going to have to hook the four-wheeler up to that car and push him. Good luck, you're safe, guys. Man, thank you, thank you. First pair. Coming at you over in the left lane. Hey, push up there behind Ryan. Yeah, beautiful car, He jumped out on us, but we got the W. He went red on us. We still outran him. Bobby did go red. Yep, 10 foul. Bobby went red. Hell yeah. Well, we got the first round win. Um, dude, I seen him get out there on me, and I was chasing him. 
Goodbye, guys. Um, and I started driving towards the center because I was actually following him. But we made a good rip. I got the shoots out. We're going to get ready for the next round. Um, he did go red, so he got way out there in front of me. But I was chasing him down. So I think we got a good hot rod. We just need to get it back, get turned around, and get ready for that second round. All right, Bobby. Well guys, with your chips, we're going up against Kai Kelly. That is not real too good for, you know, our bet for me and him versus Sean and Ryan, but he's in the way of trying to win this deal and trying to win this championship. So we're going to go out there, we're going to try our best and see what we can do. Sean is going up against Scott Taylor, which I think is going to be a good race. And Ryan Martin is going up against Jeff Lutz, which is going to be a good race. So there's no, there's no ducks. Everybody is a hitter over there. So that's going to be a good thing about it. Like I said, we just got Kai. Uh, we're back in the right lane again. The first pass against Bobby was a great pass. I did not realize that he went red, so I seen him out there, so I was trying to chase him down. That's why the car kind of drove a little left. So this pass here, um, try to focus more, try to keep him in the center of the track, keep him in my lane, and see if we could uh, pull off this win and go on to round three. We'll know here in a little bit. Right. Good luck, dude. Good luck, homie. Justice wants to be in the photo job with the dog. Look at him. Hey, man, keep going. Thank you, man. Y'all too. about that you know both left at the same time looks like he just got it down on the big end is what it kind of looked like all right guys so we're fast forward you know 24 hours we done left tulsa we're here in mooresville north carolina we're here at modern shop we're going to be here for a couple days 
actually uh, just getting everything 100% done, looking over some things on the car, getting some stuff fixed before we head over to Rockingham. Leaving Tulsa, we left there with 20 points, so I think I am tied for either third or fourth in the No Prep Elite, so still pretty good right now. Um, we're gonna go into Rockingham where it's points and a half, so instead of it being 10 points per round, it'll be 15 points per round. So there's still three races left, there's still a lot of rounds, a lot of racing to do to be able to dictate who's the champion. We're gonna go into Rockingham, I think we got a car that's working good. We just got nosed out there by Kai Kelly that second round. So we gotta have to find a little bit more power and just keep playing with it. But there's a lot of fast boys and girls that are running this No Prep Elite. So whoever we line up with, it'll always be a dog fight, but I'm okay with that. I'm ready for it. I want to see uh, how we line up with everybody else and let's see if we can pull this championship off. If you haven't done already, make sure you subscribe to the channel, turn that bell notification on, and I'll see y'all at the next video.